Hey guys, it's Kafulfa here. Today is the 15th of July 2011 and this is a general video. Just wanted to talk about a couple of things. I actually wanted to do this about a week ago, but uh, but I, well, obvious, for obvious reasons, I couldn't because I lost my voice. I've just regained it probably about yesterday, some point between uh, yesterday and today, and uh, and it's still on and off. I mean, uh, every now and again, I uh, well, just like then, my voice suddenly dips and then uh, and then it becomes normal again. So I so say, yeah, hopefully within the next couple of days that will be sorted out and uh, and I'll resume normal service. So uh, so yeah, right now, as you can see, I'm on the uh, YouTube page. So the reason I'm bringing you guys here is because I wanted to show you the new skin. So uh, hopefully most of you will have already found it by now. But uh, but it's not something that's exactly being uh, advertised or anything like that. It's not like being a huge advert on the uh, on the front page screen saying uh, try this uh, try this uh, new skin out and uh, and test it and everything. I found out through one of my uh, subscriptions, uh, Philip DeFranco. Um, hopefully you guys will have found out by something you know something similar. And uh, and if not, well then uh, well then here I am to tell you about it. So um so yeah there will be a link in the description taking you to the page where you can confirm that you want to try out the new skin and uh and this is something that came out I believe a week probably a bit longer ago um obviously like I said I wanted to make this earlier but uh but I was unable to um the first thing you'll notice well the only thing you'll notice is that uh is that these curves have been well these are uh, these bars have been uh you know curved up uh, curved up. That's not exactly the thing that I was going for. Basically, it looks smoother and it looks layered and it looks a lot nicer. Uh, but obviously, that is probably the smallest part of the update. Unfortunately, there's not much of an update as far as the front page is concerned. Everything there is still pretty much the same. Then again, this is still actually quite a recent update anyway. Um, also, you may have noticed this for the last month now. So you got your favourites, your uh, watch laters liked, etc., etc. Yep, you got a nice bar here. I actually don't like it. I don't like the bar because uh, I can click on favourites, but uh, unless I click uh, view details, it won't show me the full list. That's quite annoying. Um, anyway, so um, so yeah, um, let's go into the channel, and that's where you'll see the main changes. So, uh, so there we go. Um, obviously, you'll notice the difference. Well, firstly, my channel, if you remember it, used to be black and red without any background, and uh, and now by default, this is the way it looks like. So all my settings and everything has been removed. But uh, but yeah, I, I love the look, and I don't think I would actually change it even if I could. I haven't actually looked at settings in info yet to see how much of it I can change. Apparently, I can only change that much of it. On the edit info and settings, actually that makes sense. But uh, but then again, on the template, even you can't change your color scheme or anything like that. You've basically got four different types of layouts that you can choose. Uh, as you can see, the uh, the one highlighted for me is Creator, and that is exactly what I've got. So uh, I've got the um, last video picture of the last video. No, uh, nothing to. Well, actually, for some reason I can't click this. I should be. Ah, oh, it's probably because I have that on. So let me quickly turn that off. But yeah, otherwise I'd be able to click the image. That'll take me to the video. That's something that I like because it means that uh, those idiots with their videos on autoplay on their channel, we won't get any of those idiots ever again. And I hated that because I hated, you know, I want to go onto someone's channel because, you know, I want to I want to find out more about them, see what other videos they have on offer. And, uh, and then this stupid video starts playing. And it's probably the most recent one which I've just watched and I don't want to watch again and I have to manually turn it off. Anyway, so it's nice not having any videos on the channel page anymore. You have to click it and then you will be redirected to, to the actual video page. So it's all done on the same page now. Um, and then below that, lots of playlists. I'll probably be able to order it somehow, in fact, probably by clicking this edit button and, uh, and get to list which playlists I actually want you guys to see. So there's six of them right now, but there's actually quite a lot more. There's probably there on the uh, the view all bit but then again if you click on videos that's exactly the same as clicking view all and that will show you all the playlists so the ones that you couldn't see rift general guides boss killing and guides that's probably the one you could see actually staking bank videos event videos glitches cool and funny yeah lots and lots of different playlists i've got and and then we've got the community page so um so I can post bulletins, I guess, just tell you uh, what exactly I'm doing. Maybe I should write, uh, I'm making a video as I'm speaking or something like that. And then I've got your guys' comments. And uh, and yes, yeah, so uh, so lots and lots of uh, comments there. Um, but yeah, so basically it's not on the same page anymore. So I quite like that. I would I would definitely love it if it was more of a forum kind of format. So, uh, so I could have my own mini forums. 
I think that's actually what they're getting ready to do. I think they're going in that direction. And, and the reason I think that is because obviously YouTube is owned by Google. Google have just released a, well, a program, a, a site, a whatever, a function. I don't know what to call it. Uh, but basically it's a social networking site, Google Plus. And I think they're going to try and heavily incorporate Google Plus into their YouTube. Uh, because I don't know if Google Plus is going to really take off by itself, especially when it's, you know, competition is, uh, is Facebook and Facebook is very much, you know, established now. Um, but whereas YouTube, obviously, you know, lots of people go on YouTube, probably more people go on YouTube than Facebook. Well, no, definitely, definitely lots more people go on YouTube than Facebook, I reckon. So, uh, so yeah, if they, if they connect YouTube with Google Plus, then, uh, then that will work, you know, a huge amount in their favor. So I think that's that, what they're trying to do. So, uh, so hopefully this community page will develop over the next year. Um, then we've got a few of my subscribers here. For some reason, you know, doesn't show you any of my subscriptions. Don't know if that's something that I can bring up. I've just noticed there's a more button just showing you my age, country, more about my user. But yeah, I can't see my own subscription, so I guess I have to actually click my little tab now to get all that. Do I get it? Yeah, there's my subscriptions. So, uh, so yeah, and then also I've got search bar. I don't know if that search bar used to be there before. Don't really see a use for it. And uh, and finally, my statistics. I like having the statistics on the top so I can quickly see. In fact, you know what? It just increased. So it's actually just increased while watching this video because I knew that it was 2,966. So uh, so welcome whoever just uh, joined me. I could probably actually show you if I went onto my Gmail account, but I will not do that just in case there's any sensitive information in that uh, email right now in the uh, in the inbox. So um so yeah. Anyway, um, I would like to take you, you know, actually to a video and show you how, how it's all so different. But unfortunately, I can't do that because uh, because Fraps won't be able to pick up the video. I've already tried. Uh, Fraps can show you everything on the browser right now, I believe. But uh, but when it comes to actually uh, showing you uh, the video, it won't be able to record that. Um, I don't know why, but uh, that's just the way it is. So I'll have to leave it there. But uh, But naturally, you know, you guys can have your own look around. Um, before I leave, there is actually a couple of subscriptions I wanted to let you know about. Um, hopefully I'll be able to find them if they're in order of, uh, of letters, alphabetical order, which apparently they are. This is the first guy, Acre91. I'm going to give you a link to the, de in the description to this video. Not a link to his channel. Um, if you want to subscribe to him, then you can do that yourself at a later stage. But I wanted to show you his video. I think it is an amazingly funny video. Some of you may already have seen it. Um, it was uh, oh, there was a post on Zaffer.net and also uh, on the main web page of Zybez. So I'm sure lots of people have already seen it. But you know what? I want to make sure that you guys see it as well because I think this guy has incredibly, you know, fantastic editing skills. His videos are very, very good. And uh, and you know what? If you were a complete idiot or you were just extremely naive. I would reckon that you'd actually believe half of the shit that he actually says, especially in regards to this video, this skateboarding skill uh, video. So, uh, so definitely worth a check out. So again, the link to this video will be in the description, and uh, and yeah, maybe you'll subscribe to him. I don't know this guy, by the way. You know, I'm not the type of person that promotes friends because I want, you know, I want people to uh, to get to where they are on their own back and. Um, and yeah, but but this guy, you know, I'm only going to uh, I'm only going to tell you about guys that are that I really do think are fantastic, and uh, and I think this is the first time I'm doing that, and that's for this guy here, Acre91. So again, link in the description. Uh, other thing I wanted to show you is a guy called FPS Russia. So where is F? There it is, FPS Russia. So this is not gaming related. This is real life, and what he does is he um, he uh, tests guns and uh and it's hugely enjoyable i mean just look at these kind of uh views he's getting so he just released this one day ago he's got forty seven thousand views look at that that's how badly wrong that view count is he's already got seventy five thousand likes um but look his last video three million what three point two three point two five million four point one you know, numbers speak for themselves definitely there. But yeah, this guy tests guns and look at that. I haven't even looked at this video yet, Flamethrower Massacre. That's probably the next thing I'm going to do right after I finish this, making this video. So yeah, I mean, you know, two great channels to definitely subscribe to. You know, I'm thinking I should do this more often because I do think there are a lot of great people to subscribe to out there. Not just in terms of RuneScape, but just generally. 
that uh, that people should definitely be watching. I mean, if I did do it again, this would be another guy that I talk about, Julian Smith. He's just again incredibly funny. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there, guys. So um, so yeah, general video, like I said, pretty general as far as you can get. Anyway, um, just to quickly talk about the event that I had been planning before I lost my voice. Obviously, that's not going ahead because I didn't get to advertise it like I wanted it. I wanted to. But uh, so that will happen next week, and let me quickly bring up the cal. Well, no, actually, it's the fifteenth today, so sixteenth, so twenty third, twenty third of July is when I will then I'll have that event. So uh, so yeah, obviously it's been cancelled this weekend. So um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, see you around.